Hey, it's Sandy Tool Two here, and so I'll be showing you how to make a pretty realistic um, te text decals on cards. Okay. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna start with this Porsche that I don't even like, but yeah, I'm gonna um, just for an example. Um, I'm, there's two ways to go about this. Um, first. First, um, you just type whatever you want, okay, and then you just simply switch to, uh, okay, you make it linear burn, um, okay, linear burn, okay, now, uh, what do you class? The color, uh, black, when you do it in black, it's, it doesn't usually come out too well, so if you see a little better. Yeah, I'm doing that. As you can see, it looks pretty realistic. Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah. But the other way um, is to get your text, press Control, and if you have um, CS3 and above, you have to click it on this little square right here. Like that. Go to your first layer, press Control C or co edit copy, then Control B or Control. Uh, paste. Now go to image. Okay. Let me see so you guys can see this. A bit. Image adjustments, um, hue and saturation. Okay. Um, click colorize. Okay, and you'll see that right there. The lightness of um, set a little over here. Or oh, I forgot. Um, press Control Shift U before you do any of this. That's if you have a colored picture. Uh, image adjustments, hue, saturation, okay. Colorize. And move this up a little bit so it's not as transparent as it would be over here. Okay. And over here, this is like the color guide. Color guide, I'm mean, sorry. Uh, okay. Just move that around a little bit. Adjust it over here. Also, if you move it all the way to this side, it will be black. Okay. Okay, just some... Right here. Just the screen. Press OK. And now you have that. Uh, the only downside of this, or um, and good thing about it, is that when you do the hue and saturation, one, it looks a little more realistic than it would uh, than it looks when you would do with that. And let me show you. Okay, I know this one's a little darker, but. This one, when you do it with you, it looks a little more realistic. The only downside is that you can't move it around, like you would a text there. But I don't think that matters too much, because you'll see right here the line. Okay. Uh, yeah. And that's it, I guess. Okay, wait. Just over here as an example. Okay, yeah, right there. That's pretty decent. Although, like I said before, um, blacks and grays they come out pretty bad. Not as good as uh, actual colors, like red, blue, and all that. But yeah, uh, you get the idea. And that does it for this tutorial.